So today we will return to my patron God because I won't call him demon anymore. He was the God of the underworld. He is the Lord of the underworld and he will remain such. So I won't call him demon anymore for the purpose of this video. My dear ladies and gentlemen, we will talk about Molech again, about Moloch. And we will talk about the importance of exorcism and importance of purification in sorcery in general. Now, we will talk about what is exorcism and purification in the context of dark arts. Purification is removal of any substance energy or thought which can hinder the ritual and exorcism is banishment of any entities energies or forces in a forceful manner which can hinder the manifestation of sorcerer's intent or harm the sorcerer in this video we will greatly expand and explore the concept of exorcism on the life camp path and we will also explain and give to you magical chant to banish negative entities with the power of Malech as well as the sigil of the divinity now why would somebody call the being such as Malech to banish negativity from his life it is simple, if Molech is so evil and so terrifying, why all of those ancient peoples, kingdoms, priesthoods, knowledgeable and wise men venerated Molech in the past in order to obtain wealth, power and wisdom? If he is so evil, why his statue? is in front of majority of seats of power in this world. If he is so evil, why one of the greatest cultures in the world, the culture of ancient Phoenicians, venerated this god? I will tell you, he embodies the hidden truth. There is no good and evil. Everything has two polarities creative side and destructive side Malach can devour you but he can also expand your mind he can destroy you but he can also give you an imaginable wealth and power but it takes study it takes practice it takes willingness to harness the darkness within oneself and then transcend it go beyond it into something primordial into the female a dark and primordial aspect of the source itself and in order for us to do that we need to master the art of exorcism we need to understand apply and study the art of banishing any negative entities energies or forces which can hinder manifestation of our intent, weaken our physical, mental and spiritual power. So, how exorcism is done? It is simple. Sorcerer needs to choose the right divinities of considerable power to guide him during the process. You cannot perform proper exorcisms if you call weak spirits to aid you. You also need to have decently developed relationship with a spirit you are calling upon for the help in exorcism. The stronger the connection, the easier will the right will be. Also, you need to study the type of spirit which is hindering you in your exorcism. For example, if you are dealing with genic spirits, then the ideal 
spirit you call for banishing them is Samael. If you are dealing with rogue demons, the ideal demon for banishing them is Belial. If you are dealing with rogue succubi, the ideal spirit for banishing them is Lilith. But if you deal with any spirits which you need to destroy and devour immediately, for such a brutal operation, which require destruction of enormous magnitude, then Moleh is the right choice, because he will, upon command, devour and destroy the parasitic or possessing entities really quickly, and also share the reward with the magician. He is the apex predator within the Clefoth, which makes him, him the ideal choice for exorcism and operations of banishing evil and baneful spirits for the sorcerer. Now, building the relationship with Molo is fundamental if you want to use him for exorcism, but I suggest to all of people who use my instructions to summon Molech to incorporate the following exorcism magical chant into their rituals with Molech. After you raise the sacred space, start chanting this magical chant you will right now see on the screen. And later I will talk about sigil of Molech. I channeled for you the significance of the sigil and the significance of the bull with his association with Molech and why Molech as transcendental spiritual intelligence chose bull to be one of his symbols. Magical chance which calls Moloch to exorcise all negative entities from your space is Moloch exorcizo diaboli Moloch exorcizo diaboli Repeat that chant over and over again and then proclaim I call you Moloch, the god of Tamael, the god of eternal flames, the lord of the underworld, to banish all negative entities from my space, from my life, from my soul, to banish all energies which obstruct my ascension and slow down my spiritual evolution. So, once you repeated the chant long enough, you will definitely feel that the space around you is cleansed. You will feel uplifted and liberated from negative energy. Now, when you repeat this chant, repeat it in a sacred space. You already raised using my methods. I showed in previous videos dedicated to this divinity. Those videos can be found at Molech playlist or God Moloch playlist. So check the playlist out if you didn't already. Now, once the space is cleansed, you can proceed with the vocation of Moloch. And this daily practice of exorcism with Moloch will also cleanse you from parasitic entities and greatly empower you in many ways than one. Improve your focus and ability to work and prosper within this world as well as spiritual realms. Moloch is really versatile divinity which can greatly empower the sorcerer in many ways. And now when we finish talking about that, let's talk about the symbolism of Molech and the bull. As you already know, Molech represents the transcendental energy of separation, individualization, power, wisdom, insight, wealth and prosperity, as well as insane destruction and obliteration. Bull is also a really dangerous animal which can kill its owner and obliterate his life as well as material possessions. Bull can also be a deciding factor as an animal in regard to the offspring of 
the cattle which can decide the future of the farmer. If you choose the wrong bull to impregnate your cows, you will have weak cattle, which will doom you to live with the bad livestock. And this exactly represents forces of Molech himself. If you become too attached to material, too attached to the power he gives. And if you forget the higher purpose of his mysteries, you will get obliterated and devoured by them. Molech can protect you and give you wealth and power. But his mysteries can be also destructive. Too destructive for the many. And they become devoured by that destruction. That's why Molech, as a god, gives his true mysteries only to the chosen people, to the chosen people of Molech, to the modern Edomites and Amalekites, to the modern sons of Edom. If you watch this video, Molech is calling you, especially if you watch this part of the video. You are the one of those who can, indeed, work with him and have functioning relationship. But Molech will indeed banish your enemies and bring them ruin. He will indeed banish the vampiric spirits from your life. He will indeed banish those negative forces. But then after he gives you prosperity, and after he gives you wealth, and after he gives you insight, the bull will roar. Molech will roar. Just like any bull, after he impregnates your house with wealth and prosperity, after he gives you the best calf in the village, after he becomes and makes you the rich man, after he gives you the insight, after he enlightens you, the ultimate past opens, the ultimate present starts, and the ultimate test will follow. He will test you. How you will wield that enormous power? Will you create a kingdom of gold for your people, for your nation? Will you become a molech of old, a king who knows how to rule, to give prosperity to him and his men? Or will you become a tyrant? Or will you become a self-destructive beast, which will devour himself alongside his children? This is the ultimate question. It's not a question of how you will obtain power with Molech. Because if you deeply study his mysteries, the power will come, the wealth will come, the knowledge will come. If you truly participate in his agenda and study his ways in a dedicated manner, you will receive what you ask for. But the question is, what will you do with the golden wheat? What will you do with the golden wisdom? What will you do with the old mysteries? Maybe you are taking... A piece of cake you cannot swallow, but once you take it, you cannot vomit it. Nobody can deny the darkness, and once you unify with the darkness, it is difficult to live, especially if you unify through Molech. The darkness is the left side of the Creator. It is the ultimate destiny of the left hand path. There is no two ways. There is no two emanations. There is the left emanation, the Clifford, and there is the right emanation, the Sfirot, but they are part of the single emanation. Yet, it is difficult to tap into both emanations at once. So you choose to study both in a mediocre way or to study one to the extreme. And if you truly want the mysteries of Molech, 
He doesn't like the right emanation lot. He is the patron of those who want to study the left emanation to the extreme, who want to study underworld to the extreme and all the darkness to the extreme. He is the patron of those who want to study the left side of God to the extreme. And he will indeed give you all of your heart desires if you commune with him and if you work with enough dedication. But if you make a mistake, you will be devoured. And that's why I gave you this exorcism. To banish all of negative spirits in order to reduce the influence of those negative beings on you. So probability of you making a mistake will be the smallest possible. Malek is the god of the kings. And he respects the kings and he respects the priests. There are two paths of Malek. The path of the king who rules the physical realm and the realms beyond and the path of the priest who pursues knowledge no matter what, who will offer no matter what for that wisdom to fall upon him, who will offer the pieces of his own soul, the destiny of his sons and daughters, the destiny of his nation, the destiny of himself, just to receive that blessing of that wisdom. But the king will do other things. He will sacrifice everything to rule over his own realm. Those are two paths. And the two paths of Mole are two aspects of the same path. Of the Mole, of the Mole, of the ruler of the tyrant and the prosperous one, of him who gives prosperity and ruin, of him who can create a golden kingdom and who can devour the nations. So, if you want to commune with him, check out my playlist of Demon King Molech, raise the sacred space, Repeat this exorcism, use this sigil, and call Moloch with magical chants. And if your astral senses are developed enough, you will feel him. And it will be worth it. I like about Moloch one thing. He doesn't fuck around. He is the king. He is not the adversary. He is not the whore, he is not the slave, he is not the death, he is not undeath, he is not demonhood, he is kingship, he is king, he is the ruler, and he knows what he wants, and he expects the same from you. He has enough slaves, enough of spirits who serve him. He needs fellow kings to make an holy alliance and conquer this world together with us. He will come with his army, help us raise our own army and conquer our own realm. And if you try to be a slave of Molech, you will not end well, because he has no pity for his slaves. So, if you truly want to work with him, you need to learn how to become king. In order to first learn how to become king, you need to ask him for wisdom and travel the path of the priest. And once enough wisdom is accumulated, use that wisdom to obtain kingship. And then return to the past of the priest and to the path of priesthood over and over again from time to time to accumulate 
more and more knowledge so you can govern your realm. How you can serve Mole, you ask, but still be king? Call Mole. For many days in a row and ask him what is his true will, his true conquest and his true war. And just like all kings hide the mechanics of their kingdom, Molech will stay, he will know, he will will, he will dare and he will keep silence. But if you ask over and over the old king of Amalekites and Edomites and Canaanites and Babylonians will reply. The god of Carthage will reply. The god of Tyre will reply. The god of Sidon will reply. The god of Solomon will reply. The idol on the high places will reply and he will tell you what is his true agenda and then you will as a fellow king help him in that agenda in a true and meaningful manner and then as a fellow king who respects himself and his agenda, you will demand of fellow king Molech to give you his wisdom, to give you his knowledge, and to give you his mysteries. But there is one golden rule. Once Molech starts giving you his true mysteries, don't reveal them to anybody else unless king approves as a fellow king you need to understand that every state will collapse if kings revealed to the world how they rule they rule in a way which is hidden in a way which is concealed from the slaves to see and you choose will you be the slave or will you be malik will you be molek Will you be the king? Will you rule or will you serve? The choice is yours. Use this magical chant. Use this exorcism. And thanks for watching. And see you next time, fellow king.